Welcome back to another video and today we are going to be looking at a new series that I want to try out. Uh, this series is going to pertain to some forgotten equipment and however in this first episode looking at the gold earrings something that I think everyone forgets about I don't think I see many people with it and then the red adventure cape. Now there's two places to get these, and they're two completely different. However, the one to get the adventure cape is very easy. However, one of the things I recommend before even attempting it is get yourself some Lucky Winter and get yourself some where did go? two times drop coupon. Now luckily, you can stack this with the lucky winter so you could get about 2.5 times drop which is which is pretty well and if you can combine it with holy symbol it'll get it a lot higher now for where to find this this is why I bring up the exp I mean the drop coupons is that the drop rate for this particular mini boss is is pretty bad it's it's terrible <laughs> it's completely terrible so and you also have to focus on this and this blah 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 all this however I'll show you the easiest way to get it is just you're gonna flip through a bunch of channels now I don't see many people with the cape on I I mean it's probably just too low-key at this point However, where you can find it is you go over here to the 50 year old herb garden and you just go through this portal and there's already a box. Woo! Oh dang, I got a rebirth, no way. Oh, that's pretty fancy. Okay, now, let, let, let's not focus on that too much. There, uh, as you can tell, there's a botting issue. Let me see if I can find a channel without a bot. So I'll just go to channel 27. Okay. So first of all, what you're gonna look at is this guy right here. Now the reason why I said his drop rate is terrible is watch this. He's only gonna be dropping some cash at most. And for and for going through flipping through 30 channels, it's not it's not going to be that easy because uh after that either it's a 15 minute or a 30 minute wait time till he respawns again <coughs> so what you want to do is just try to get lucky winter and then just try to get the drop coupons which are really easy to get nowadays and if you're level 200 and you have the holy symbol or if you're a bishop just might as well try it out because it's it's, it's kind of fun in a way but anyways that's where you get this one right here for for getting this one these gold earrings um the way i got them was i used to be in windia for this and they used to be and I tried looking for them once. However, it was kind of a weird exploit thingy that you can find through it. Because here, I'll, I'll teleport you. I'll teleport to the to the mushroom shrine because that's where it's located. It's it's located where the fire raccoons are. Let's attack this guy, right? He's there. No. Okay. Okay, that's weird. Anyways. So, what happened was... There used to be a... There used to be a... Glitch, I guess you could say. This was before they made Showa Town. Revamped. So, this was about... I think, about a year ago. They revamped this town. And... What happened before that is that you would enter here see where all these guys are at you would enter here and then you would enter the Showa Street 3 
Which, I mean, okay, that's that, that makes sense, right? However, it got a little weirder once you try to go back through that same portal. And what happened is it used to lead you to a, a more classic, like one of those classic maps in the Mushroom Shrine. And for some odd reason, it, they still had the old the old fire raccoons and then the old field fox and all that that's how I ended up getting these familiars here fire raccoon and cloud fox now the fire raccoon is where you're gonna get the gold earrings now you could try getting them through the through the regular field which is right here cherry blossom forest 2 however I think I don't see many drops at all because personally I haven't tried it yet however I do remember you try to get there and you kill a bunch of them and just they, they just never dropped any equipment so I'm not sure if these ones will give you it anymore however you could try it out and do the same thing that I did with the with the giant centipede was just get and stack up two drops two times drops with uh, lucky winter and that really helped a lot I went through like 10 channels I think so I, I killed him like 10 times in a row and basically what happened was was that <laughs> jeez okay basically what happened was it ended up dropping the, the red adventurer cape which is the one you see up here now for the gold earrings I'm not sure if they're still obtainable to this day however your best luck of getting them is either through this map here or if you go into the auction house but depending on where you are I'm not sure if there's any sales for it However, you could try it out. Just to go an overview real quick. I want to see how this looks like. It looks like the any old adventure cape as you can see here. Um, let me try getting onto like a rope or something. I'll just go right here. All right, so that's how the red adventure cape looks like. I think it looks pretty nice. It's it's kind of it kind of has that cool crimson color to it. Now for the gold earrings, they're like very tiny, and they just, they just, you can barely see them. But, I mean, they look nice, I guess. <laughs> so, for, for obtaining these two, they're kind of hard to get. However, the giant centipede, you could easily obtain. But I think, I think what your best luck is, is that I hope whatever world you're trying it on there's not many botters because if you don't know yet um, maple story has a, just a terrible reputation of just botters everywhere uh, like right here this is, this is the elite boss when I teleported there there was nothing <laughs> you know it was some ridiculous Hargan like that so if we go I think there's a boss here no nope, okay but as you can tell, this is terrible botting. And <laughs> that's another thing that you're gonna have to look out for when you're going into Mulung, because the botters really like it here. Um because it was just it's just so low key. No one really ever focuses on it. They'd rather focus on these parts of the the map, but this one's just still low key. Now, I think that'll be it for this episode. Um, I hope you like it. I, I wanted to keep it really short. I originally recorded this, however, however, there was some pretty, pretty bad audio background that I didn't want to get in there. So, for the next episode, we're gonna be trying to get, or I'll just show you for the next episode. I hope to show you how to get this, this hula hoop, 
and how to get the Daiwa Sword. Is low key. Is very low key. Um, I'll, I'll tell you a funny story about that in the next episode. And for some strange reason, it just has Dex on it. But okay. So that will be it. And I hope you enjoy this episode. And I'll see you in the next one. In the next video, of course.